This is the Banner House, a house of horrors. The house featured in Pretty Fine Things. Check out the interviews with Ryan Scott Weber, writer-director, cast and crew, and more. And enter those doorways into your nightmares with the Banner Brothers. All right, I'm rolling. Roll three, scene 24. Speeding 116. Action. Calm down and sit back down. Or would he say that while you're standing up? That is a good Yeah, point. I think you should stay up. Stay up? Okay. So I put your glasses on, took it off. Action. The combination of how we, as an example, when you first got the script, we all took a look there and we had an idea of how our character should look. And then once you have that going and you start reading the script, we'll find our characters as well. And then when you add this creepy house, like I said, <laughs> it's, the co it's a common thread. It's almost like it's a character of its own. Exactly. And at the same time, I think that uh, all of us and the house have grown together over time. It's almost like the fourth brother. If you will. In transcript, Ryan set up the. There you go. I take my Make sure that sounds good. Went, Where are we at? Where am I out? Here? You're out, yeah. Okay. Like I said, we're all we're all buddies off camera. Nice. On camera, things change. Nice. Yeah. Anyway. See this? Yeah. Right here. <coughs> oh, I like your head to be right here. When okay, you're trying to. Yeah, right here. behind her, like here. Okay. Let me see where that's yeah. going to be. No, no, no. Don't. Like me, just come. Like this? Yeah, but. Yeah, right there. Right there? No, the little red eyed dwarf. Ryan says cut. Mm -hmm. You're like, man, that was that was disturbing. That's the word that word just keeps popping up like, oh man, I hated doing that, but we had to do it, and therefore my character enjoyed it even though Joe hated it. Exactly right. And that's really yeah. what you had to Well that's the reality it. versus the fiction when it comes yes. to it. Mm -hmm. Cut. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to tip this friggin' thing up. Oh, am I killing him too? Make it connected. Yeah, and it's, it's all the way he holds it. A little bit more, a little bit more. Move your arm out. Move your arm closer to the edge, yeah. That's the term that you might have heard me say off screen when I was describing even, you know, how great Adam and Patrick have done in this film that I knew they were great to begin with. Exactly. But to see all the bullets they have in their holsters, I'm like, damn, wow, that did that too. <laughs> like I said, I was super impressed and I enjoyed every bit of this. I mean, it helps, yes, of course, we were already friends beforehand, but to just work with them to the capacity that I have, just have loved it. And Ryan, like I said, the, ma the founder of the feast, if you will. Exactly. Coming up with these stories. And uh, like I said, for all of us, you know, as the others would agree as well, to, know that you know what the type of characters that we're playing we really get into them but at the same time you know it in real life we would despise those same people and so it's that yeah. dichotomy there or you, know, you have to provide that separation to know that okay i'm in character here when i'm not man this is pretty damn disturbing it's all good okay cut